But what's the link between vitamin D and your gut health? It would have eluded me for about 13 years. Why was I having digestive issues aplenty? What was going on? Why was I so intolerant to foods such as dairy, gluten, high GI carbs such as potatoes, sugars, breads, pasta, dried fruits were a real nemesis of mine. So some of you were sitting there thinking, do I have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, or SIBO for short? Do I have small intestinal fungal overgrowth, or SIFO for short? Do I have IBS? Am I celiac? Does this sound familiar? Let's try and answer how vitamin D might help you solve all of those issues. First of all, welcome to my channel. It's so great to see you here. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being so proactive in taking charge of your health. My name is Vish. I have a national role in science education and I am a survivor of MECFS and fibromyalgia. And so fundamentally, I am proof, living proof, that you can heal from this condition. I am here to cut through what is the complex and simplify it to make it more digestible for you to understand. I find it really useful and I hope you guys will find it really useful as well. Join Elite Wellness Warriors by scanning the links here and here and indeed subscribe to the channel if you find it useful and smash like if you can because it really helps the algorithm to promote the video to lots of people around the world because I'm here only to encourage the health and healing of everybody. So with that being said, let's crack on with the juicy stuff. I've tried to bring together the research findings from immunology, from microbiology, and from nutrition science to add some clarity to what is otherwise quite complicated to help solve this digestive conundrum. It's important to say that what I'm sharing with you today, the results are correlative rather than causal. So the evidence is strong from this body of research, but it's not pointing to a causal link. But still, that doesn't take away from the legitimacy of what I'm about to share. So enjoy, and here we go. Number one, vitamin D supports intestinal barrier integrity and it prevents something called leaky gut syndrome. So how does it do this? Well, vitamin D will bind to like a docking station, like so, which are found all the way throughout the body. So you'll find them in your gut, you'll find them in your skin, your circulatory system, your pancreas, in your immune system. And very importantly, actually, you'll also find it in your nervous system. Vitamin D has so many of those receptors in such key areas. So what happens when it lands there? Well, it'll activate between 200 and 2,000 different gene expressions. And each one of those 2,000 gene expressions is going to have a biochemical consequence, right? This will have a cascading effect. We want that cascade because vitamin D will benefit us so much and so greatly and so long term. There was a study done in 2021 called the Metabone Trial, which investigated how 213 children from South Florida are affected by vitamin D. And there were some key things that I'm going to share with you which were really fundamental from that study. Vitamin D receptors in the gut help produce tight junctions and deficiency is linked to a weakened intestinal barrier. The intestinal barrier is a layered structure which will allow you to absorb macro and micronutrients into it. It also keeps out your harmful bacteria in conjunction with the acid that is in there, the hydrochloric acid that is present in there. The thing that will bind those intestinal cells together are things called claudins and occludins. And claudins kind of act like a gate, allowing things in through the gut lining cells, and occludins create some kind of reinforcement. They stabilize those cells and regulate those junctions correctly. They keep it sealed. They prevent toxins and pathogens getting into your bloodstream. Those vitamin D receptors will turn on the genes that code for claudins and occludins. So if you don't have enough vitamin D, you're not gonna produce enough claudins and occludins. So that will then also have a negative effect on the production of other proteins, because of course, you're not activating the genes that make them. And those other proteins might be hormones, they might be collagen for our skin, they might be hemoglobin for our red blood cells, they might also be compromising the production of enzymes. 
very, very serious. Because, of course, enzymes are catalyzing most of the chemical reactions in the body. Respiration. Um, they might be catalyzing digestive processes. Really, if you don't have enough vitamin D, you may be compromising your production of said enzymes or enzymes like this. Now, it's important that I share with you what H. pylori was and what it did to me and why did I even go down this journey of vitamin D? Well, H. pylori destroyed my gut health completely. 50% of the world has this insidious bacteria. This cancer-causing bacteria resides in 50% of the world. It's more prevalent in countries like India and developing countries around the world. If 10% of the world's population are affected in a negative way by it, by producing gastroesophageal reflux disease, acid reflux, you might end up with stomach ulcers. In my case, I ended up with fibromyalgia. H. pylori is devastating for our health. Now, I really need you to understand that if 10% are suffering with those symptoms and 90% don't, they're asymptomatic, then 10% equates to 400 million people out there that are really, really suffering and don't know why. Without removing that obstacle, I would never have recovered from fibromyalgia. If you want to know more about that, scan the QR code in the link here, and that will take you to my video on H. pylori if you fancy any more details about that. Fundamentally, your gut becomes leaky, and the weakening of the gut barrier may allow undigested food molecules to get through, causing inflammation and significant food intolerances. Disruption of the intestinal barrier is linked to many diseases. Obesity, it may be linked to type 1 diabetes, liver disease, GI conditions such as celiacs, inflammatory bowel disease, and indeed colon cancer. 2008 research suggests that the vitamin D receptor is critical for maintaining mucosal barriers in the colon by preserving those tight junctions. Vitamin D is also really, really important for insulin secretion. So you can see it will have an effect on your blood sugar levels as well, but we won't go into that in this particular video. That's for future discussion. Two. Vitamin D modulates the gut microbiome by increasing the diversity and increasing the composition of that beautiful microbiome that is literally saving our lives right now. Adequate vitamin D encourages beneficial bacteria such as lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. It's also really important for stimulating something called acomancia, which has been correlated to great health as well. There was a trial done by Singh et al. in 2020, and that showed that in vitamin D deficient women, supplementation increased that microbial diversity. There was a review done by Wang et al. in 2024. That showed that vitamin D regulated the gut microbiome, making new beautiful beneficial species and suppressing harmful ones. Three. Vitamin D strengthens immune function and reduces gut inflammation. Vitamin D will basically produce something called antimicrobial peptides, which modulate the immune response and reduces that inflammation. Large 2019 did a review of human trials and found that vitamin D really affected people with IBS in particular in a really beneficial way, reducing inflammation and improving their quality of life. There was a scientific review done in 2025 in immunity and aging that showed that the vitamin D regulates immune aging, reduces inflammation and enhances immune resilience. So what are the key messages here today? There's four. It really helps your barrier protection. It reduces leaky gut. Secondly, it will improve harmony, encouraging good bacteria and suppressing the bad bacteria. Thirdly, it has immune regulatory mechanisms. So it reduces inflammatory activity. And four, it just gives your whole body wellness. You just feel better. It improves your mood. It improves your metabolism. It lowers the risk of gut-related diseases such as IBD, IBS, metabolic disorders, etc. So if you enjoyed this video, 
please smash like, please do subscribe. And definitely, if you want to know more about how to weaponize the use of vitamin D in your body, what you can do to take with vitamin D to make it beneficial for you, click the link here, scan the QR code, do all of that wonderful, wonderful stuff. And I really look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care. Wishing you wellness always.